So these are our three big themes in the class, abstraction, universality, and recursive definitions. What I want to do now is look at various things that we've covered throughout the course and see how they fit into these three main themes. In unit one, we introduced the concept of variables. We can use a name to refer to some value. So that's definitely a type of abstraction it allowed us, us to use the name X to refer to different things. It's helpful for universality, but by itself, it doesn't really provide us that. And it's not really a recursive definition, although we can define variables in terms of other variables. In unit two, we introduce procedures. And a procedure is definitely a kind of abstraction. By making the parameter to a procedure, we can have code that we write once that does many different things. And we can hide all those details when we use the procedure. Procedures also give us a form of universality. We can use the same procedure to do many different things. And we can define procedures to do everything, as we've seen. We didn't really understand that yet in unit two, though. But it is enough to define every possible computer program. And we certainly use procedures to make recursive definitions. And we've certainly defined recursive procedures, not until unit six, though. And this gives us a way to define a procedure to break a problem down by seeing it in terms of a smaller version of itself. The main new thing in unit three was lists. This is a kind of data abstraction. You can use a list without knowing the details of how Python implements a list. It also can be a recursive definition. We can have lists that have elements that are other lists. So it certainly is useful for recursive definitions. And it's universal in the sense that we can put any element we want in a list. So in unit four, the main things that we did were finish the search index by providing a way to produce an index of data. This certainly involves a lot of abstraction. We found a way to represent the data from the web pages in an index and respond to queries. The other thing we talked about in unit four was how networks work. Networks are all about abstraction. We want to find ways to make requests where we're thinking about what we're requesting as a web page. All the details of how we actually do that are hidden. And unless we need to worry about that, it's much better to think about that abstractly as this is sending a request for a web page. In unit five, the main new idea we introduced was how to measure cost. And that's a kind of abstraction. We want to measure cost in terms of understanding how the cost scales with the size of the input rather than the details of the cost. It's also related to universality. Understanding the cost of a procedure depends on having a fairly universal model of computing. We want to understand how much a given algorithm costs without depending on the details of how a particular computer works. And then we introduced the hash table. This was a kind of data abstraction. It was universal in the sense that it could contain any kind of element as its values. And we didn't define it recursively. We could certainly have hash tables containing other hash tables. And we had dictionaries of dictionaries. So this is also certainly has aspects of recursive definitions in place. And finally, in unit six, the main big idea was recursive procedures. Obviously, that fits in to our theme of recursive definitions. It also relates to universality. We showed how to make code that runs forever or keeps on going as long as it needs to without using a while loop. So that gives some support for the idea that all we really need are procedures if and a way to keep track of things to be able to define every computer program. And we saw that any program that we could write as a recursive procedure, we could also write as a while loop. So if you've followed everything that we've done in this class, you've really learned an amazing amount. And as you learn more and more about computing, you'll see these three themes of abstraction, universality, and recursive definitions all over the place. But you've already seen them many, many times just in the units of this course.